So I have real, I have good news. Um, I have 11 students today, and only two. Oh, sorry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so it's still good news. Um, I suppose I'm going to have three students who are taking the first time. Uh, which means I consider uh, the majority of you as a review. Um, however, and then you're going to take the first hole. So there's two holes. Now, surprisingly, uh, you can actually stop if you're too tired. Okay, so you're doing CPR. All of a sudden, I'm too tired. I can't do it. Okay, you have a right to stop because we don't want there to be two casualties. You can actually get a heart attack. Okay, so stop, but don't abandon the casualty. So what abandonment means is. Oh, I'm too tired. Go to McDonald's. No, don't do that. Okay. So you're gonna do that. I'm too tired. Stop. Wait for the ambulance to come. Then you can go to McDonald's. Okay. Uh, now we always encourage you to get bystanders involved. So if you cannot do it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, "Oh, can I? Yeah, can you help me? You in the blue shirt? Can you help me?" Now, uh, what if the guy says, oh, I'm not certified. I've never even taken a first aid course. I have no idea how to do CPR. Can he still help you? Yes, if you give him a direction. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. You're going to give him a crash course. 
Okay, so you're going to say, yep, no problem, okay? You will still be protected by the Good Samaritan principle. Okay, you're not certified, but it's okay. You're going to give them a crash course, yep, put your hand in here, yep, go down, do 30 compressions, yep, now get two breaths, so yeah, exactly, you're going to give them a crash course, okay? Um, so, for those of you who are picking up first time, you may not have heard of the Good Samaritan principle. Good Samaritan principle says, Unless you do something completely negligent, you cannot be sued. So what completely negligent means is, let's just say the casualty has a small fracture here, and you do something so negligent, okay, you break his neck. Then you can be sued. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't have to worry. Yeah. <laughs> or like use your leg to help. <laughs> use your leg to help? Okay, yeah, you should be doing that. Um, okay, so almost every cl other class, I would have people say, oh, stop when you start screaming. <laughs> okay, now that is not incorrect. If the person starts breathing, you can stop. Can or cannot? You can. You can. If he starts breathing, you can. Well, I just want to warn you, the chance of that happening is actually very, almost close to zero, okay? Yeah, because you have to be breathing normally. Exactly, yeah. like, you're doing this to this casualty, right? Even if he starts breathing, you wouldn't know. Okay. And I'm not talking about choking, okay? Choking, you do reassess breathing. But strictly CPR, don't be in cardiac arrest, right? How would you even know 